Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Law and Lullabies. I'm Lana. I am so, so, so very excited. Can you tell? Today I am so excited to be announcing my very own readathon, which is the Indie Accords. It is to get more people reading indie. We'll be running this on Discord and also on Twitter. Use the hashtag Indie Accords Readathon and tag at Indie Accords on all the socials. So let's let the intro play and I will tell you all of the things in the Accords. Accords is where we read only indie authors. This readathon is running from the 1st of July in your time zone until midnight 31st of July, again in your own time zone. And there are even prizes up for grabs because who doesn't love a prize? I don't know why I did that, I'm really excited. To be eligible for prizes you do need to sign up on the Google form which I will link down below. We have four teams in this readathon each led by a different captain. I'm going to be floating across all of the different teams because I couldn't pick just one. So the teams and their captains are Team Science Fiction and Fantasy is led by the amazingly talented and funny Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena. Lena reads a lot, like a lot, a lot of indie and she has never let me down with a fantasy or science fiction recommendation so I know that there will be some amazing recs. I'll leave all of the team captains details down below. You should definitely go check them out. They are amazing booktubers. For team horror, thriller, and mystery, we have none other than this rock star, Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative. She is absolutely amazing. She is a titan in the bookish community. And for her to agree to help me out with this readathon, I was absolutely floored. I am so, so thankful. For team contemporary, historical fiction, and literary, we have Mel from a book being named Mel. Mel reads books from every single genre. I know that she does love contemporary historical fiction, all of those things. It's not really my forte, so it just made sense for me to ask Mel to head this team. And I'm so, so happy that she said yes. For team romance, we have my very good friend Chelsea at Chelsea Zhao on YouTube. Amazing mama, wife, gamer, and journaler. Seriously, check out her spread. So pick a genre team, declare your allegiance. There are two prizes up for grabs. Each is an Amazon or book depository book of your choice from your wish list. This is purely for ease of buying and shipping. However, if you do have an indie bookstore that you would like to purchase from, I will do whatever I can to try and make that possible. Please be aware that the giveaway is for an indie book. And after this readathon, I'm sure you'll be adding plenty of indie books to your wish list. The rules are as follows. You do need to sign up on the Google form below for this readathon to be eligible for the prizes. Sign up needs to be done before the 28th of June. That is a firm cutoff. We won't be taking any requests to jump on after that. So please sign up ASAP. Also, please declare your TBR by the 30th of June, either on any of the socials or within the Discord. However, your TBR is not set in stone. You can change it and swap things out. You are also able to double up on books. So if you're reading a book by a New Zealand author that has an ensemble in it, you can mix those together and that is two prompts for you. However, you only get 30 points for that book. If you read outside of your genre, you still get points, but only half, so you'll get 15 points. The group book and your team read is worth 20 points each. And if you leave a review on Goodreads or Amazon, you get 10 points as well. To be eligible for the prizes, you do need 150 points. There will be a tracking form and updates will be made throughout the month. So those who are like me and super competitive can see where their team is at. And also individually, I'm thinking, because that's always fun. Let's get into the prompts. There are 10 reading prompts and one non-reading prompt. We have eight reading prompts on the bingo board and two other group reads. The group reads are completely voluntary. You don't have to read them because they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. However, you do get more points for them. The first prompt is, do we have an accord? That is to read a book with pirates or set at sea. If you're going for the pirates, they don't necessarily have to be sea pirates. They could also be space pirates or pirates of any kind. I have read some epic world building in indie books. So for the second prompt, 
we have Out of This World and that is to read a dystopian. As indie authors and authors in general, they are literally pouring their hearts and souls into the page for us and that's got to be painful. So for the third prompt we have Everything Hurts, that is to read a book with a middle-aged character. The indie author community is quite large and has a one beating heart. Everyone supports everyone no matter what background they come from, religion, sexuality, geographical place, it doesn't matter. They're, it's just one beating heart. So the fourth prompt is to read a book that has LGBTQIA plus rep in it. The fifth prompt isn't a reading prompt, but it is just as important, and that is to leave a review, whether that be on Goodreads, Amazon, wherever. Leave a review and link it. This is a compulsory prompt to go in the running for the prizes. Being an indie and self-published author, there is no real roadmap to get you to success that is the same for everyone 100% of the time. So when they start writing and put their work out into the ether, it really is a journey unknown. Here's the title of our sixth prompt, The Journey Unknown. This is to read a book that features a quest. Our seventh prompt is Hard Yakka. <laughs> I'm so sorry to my hosts who were like, what in the hell when they saw Hard Yakka? They're like, I don't even know how to say that. What is it? That is an Australian slash New Zealand Kiwi term, which means hard work because being an indie author is hard freaking work. So I just thought that it fit this readathon so perfectly. This is me hyping up my authors of the Southern Hemisphere. I'm indigenous from New Zealand, but I live in Australia. So hence why this prompt is to read an Australian or New Zealand indie author. <laughs> I imagine being self-published can feel really lonely sometimes. Our eighth prompt is You Are Not Alone and that is to read a book with an ensemble cast or platonic relationship. Self-published and indie authors don't have a massive team behind them, it's just them and their PA or whoever it is making sure this book gets to you, the reader. And in my opinion, the little guy can do amazingly big things, so that is why our last bingo prompt is called The Little Guy, and that is to read a middle grade indie. Those are the bingo prompts. If you have any indie recs for us, whether they fit any prompts or not, please pop them into the Rex form. After this readathon, I would love to make it like an indie master list. So yeah, if you could do that, that would be awesome. <laughs> Each team captain has chosen their own book to read as a group. Again, this is completely voluntary, but extra points, yay! I know a lot of people don't like to know a lot about the books they're reading before they read them. I'm one of these people, so I won't give a full synopsis of each of the books, but I'll say a little bit about them. Our group read is A Court of Honey and Ash by Kelly St. Clair and Shannon Mayer. This is released on the 6th of July and will be available on Kindle Unlimited. Though it's not released till the 6th, that still gives us plenty of time to read it within the month. This is a new adult fantasy set in a fey world. You can expect a badass female main character, some romance, a really good plot, a couple of twists and turns. Knowing these authors, there will be a bit of banter and humour included, so I always look forward to that. Kelly St. Clair is the very first indie author that I ever read knowingly. And if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you know that The Tainted Accords are one of my favourite series of all time. And yes, that series is where I got the name for the Indie Accords from. For Team Science Fiction Fantasy, Lena has chosen, I need a drum roll here, as a surprise to no one, Lena has chosen The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang. I am so excited. I hear amazing things and Lena is in a perpetual stage of wanting to reread this book so you know it's going to be good. For Team Horror, Thriller and Mysteries, Leslie has chosen The Patience of a Dead Man by Michael Clark. Do check trigger warnings. This is kind of like a classic kind of indie horror. For team contemporary historical fiction and literary, Mel has chosen The Rain Heron by Robbie Arnott. I do believe this is an Australian author as well, so feel free if you want to double this one. And for team romance, Chelsea has chosen Along for the Ride by Mimi Grace. If you follow the link down below to Indie HQ, in the recommendation spreadsheet there on the first sheet, you will be able to find the team reads and the Goodreads links to them.
I think that's it from me. If you have any questions, please comment down below or jump into the Discord and ask your questions there. Or if you have any recommendations, please drop them in the Rex or even just send them through. I don't mind. Try something that may be a little bit different for you. Come join us. Come have some fun. My eyes twitching. That's how excited I am. I want to say a massive thank you to our team captains. Also to all of the indie and self-published authors out there. We love what you do. We appreciate what you do. Please keep doing it. Never stop. Tag at Indie Accords in anything that you post. I want to see them. I want to share them. And I have already got so much joy from this readathon. And it hasn't even started. So I'm super, super excited. That is all from me. Have an amazing reading month. And I hope to see you in this readathon. Bye.